Hey, Bill Vasey here. Thanks for watching this video on Bubbleworks and how it can process Plant 3D welds. First, let's set the welds visible. And then let's go to wireframes so the welds can actually be seen. From here, we can single click on a weld. And we'll notice that the default weld number is empty. Bubbleworks allows you to auto number the welds. Single click and Bubbleworks inserts a one, two as it walks the pipe. Produce an isometric and the weld numbers are already set. Using Viewworks, we can create a isometric perspective of this pipe route. And then from here, we can use Bubbleworks to place a weld table onto the drawing. Pick a viewport and the weld map gets added automatically. Because we're controlling our mark numbers, here's our number one weld. Bubbleworks will automatically place hyperlinks, Socketworks hyperlinks, onto these mark numbers. If we publish these drawings to PDF file format, these hyperlinks can be clicked in Socketworks. Let's take a look at some very popular weld reports that can come from the Plan 3D model. Weld connections, takeoffs, takeoff by line number, and takeoff by schedule. Let's take a look at the weld connections, and here we can see that we have a list of associated documents. If we bring up the weld map that was just created, we'll see the PDF file and the hyperlinked bubbles. This is populating the Plant 3D record. Why not keep your data all in the same spot? Thank you for watching this short video on Plant 3D and Bubbleworks.